what is this? The FBI that we're looking at right now. Let's see how they're doing. They're way behind, way behind. 68 to 90, 60 to 90, 96 at this point. Yeah, and so another thing that we really wanted to make sure uh, was evident to the spectators, they could decipher as much information as quickly as possible at the very top of the screen. So, you know, if you're gonna turn to a sporting event, let's say like a football game or a baseball game, you're able to look at the broadcast on television and there you see the scoreboard, the inning, or, you know, the quarter. You're able to decipher all that information you need to know about the game, who's in the lead, what the score is. Um, you're able to get all that info really quickly in a matter of seconds, and that's what we brought over to Call of Duty as well here in shoutcasting mode. You're able to see exactly what's going on in the game immediately by taking a look at the score panel on top of your screen. Uh, why, don't, why don't you take a look yeah. at the options for me? There you go. So, uh, Mike, uh, you want to talk a little bit about what we can show and what we can can remove from the HUD while you're uh, while you're shoutcasting? Oh, yeah. Like you got a lot of options. Here. Sure. I mean, we have every option pretty much possible. I mean, you're you're able to go in and customize the HUD at any point with whatever customized setting you'd like. So you can remove the mini map, you can remove the score panel, you can remove um, the nameplate, you can remove the score streaks, you can remove all these elements that are on the screen or you can add them in depending on how you want them. And it really makes for a nice shout casting experience, a really great spectating experience. And uh, yeah, there's just a lot going on here. We also have a mode, if you cut back to the players, where we can actually listen into the players communicating at any point by going into picture in picture and going back to the players panel here. And if you play, press left on your D-pad, you'd be able to hear the, list, the players communicating. So um, as you do that, you see Scruffy's mic is kind of lighting up. Mm -hmm. And so Scruffy's communicating a little bit and Spot's communicating a little bit. So you can actually hear the players communicating in the game using the listen-in feature, and that's something that a lot of spectators like to do. They like to listen to their favorite